His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict No. 2 for this year, forming the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Development Board, chaired by Khalid Al Rumehi and seven members for a term of three years. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Gudabiya Palace today the United Nations Resident Coordinator and Permanent Representative of the United Nations Development Programme, the UNDP, Peter Grochman. Marking the end of his term and the UNDP's Deputy Resident Representative, Mr Amin Al Sharkawi. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to develop cooperation and enhance its strategic partnership with international organizations in the development program field. His Royal Highness stressed that the Kingdom wishes to enthusiastically continue its efforts with regard to creating opportunities in various development fields so as to further develop the living standards of all citizens. His Royal Highness then wished Peter Grochman success in his new mission and expressed Bahrain's keenness to enhance its relations and cooperation with all UN bodies and to develop the work level of the UNDP's office in the Kingdom. For his part, Peter Grochman and Amin al shakawi expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and expressed the UNDP's keenness to increase areas of cooperation with all government bodies in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today the Russian Ambassador to the Kingdom, Vagiev Galiev, at Gudabia Palace. His Royal Highness noted the importance of continuing cooperation and coordination with Russia in order to achieve the best interests for the two countries. He also noted the two countries' keenness to maintain the region's security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince affirmed his keenness to follow up with the fruitful results of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to Russia, in which he met with the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, at the Russian city of Sochi last month. For his part, the Russian ambassador expressed Russia's leadership's keenness to develop Bahraini-Russian relations, especially after the recent visit of His Majesty the King to Russia, which resulted in the signing of a number of agreements between the two countries. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, handed over today the Bahraini Female Entrepreneur Honor Seal for Bahraini female entrepreneurs who are under 45 years of age. The award in its second edition honours outstanding women in the entrepreneur field and encourages them in order to promote the spirit of initiative and creativity in the economic sector, as well as assuming their social responsibilities towards Bahraini society, in addition to creating job opportunities to implement the value of equal opportunities between the two genders, which is adopted by the Kingdom. Her Royal Highness affirmed the importance of women's economic empowerment in order to develop the living standards of the Bahraini family. She also hailed the remarkable efforts of the SCW's partners in supporting female-orientated issues aimed at boosting the Kingdom's economy. She also noted the Council's keenness to diversify the work fields of the economic empowerment through training and encouragement initiatives. Her Royal Highness lauded the Kingdom's pioneering steps of providing facilities to women in order to enter the field of entrepreneurship and economic empowerment through rules and legislation that aim to enhance women's experience in the creativity and entrepreneurship fields. The Secretary-General of the SCW briefed the audience with the allocation of 100 million US dollars to support women's trade activities in small and medium enterprises, funded by Bahrain Development Bank, that's the BDB, and Tamkeen. The Secretary-General said the launching the fund is based from the strategic partnership between the SCW, the BDB and Tamkeen aiming at supporting Bahraini women's projects and overcoming all challenges that face Bahraini women investors, in addition to providing funds and training sessions. After that, a MOU was signed between the strategic partners. For his part, BDB Chief Executive Officer Nidal Salah al Ojan expressed pride in signing the agreement with the strategic partners, which aims at encouraging Bahraini women to invest in various fields. 
Tamkeen Chief Executive Dr. Ebrahim Janahi affirmed that Tamkeen would provide assistance to every individual who aims to achieve his aims and aspirations and stressed the importance of supporting women for their integration in the labour market. I've always felt that uh, Bahrain is uh, a country that supports and pushes women uh, in different areas, whether it's business, uh, politic politics, or uh, education. And I'm very grateful that I'm actually a, a citizen of this country and, and uh, that I can, you know, stand here and say this today, uh, I am very happy and, and very grateful. This award is more like an, you know, like affirmation and confirmation of all the efforts we have put in through the years and, and you know, all the late nights and weekends and holidays when you're working, this is, this really had just made it worth it for us and I'm, I'm, I have so many people to thank, you know, I, I thank you. Um, you thank God, you thank your family for the support, you thank, you thank the government because um, all these programs that they have. For us, our business was a small idea, which was something I wanted to do for myself, developed into something bigger. Every time one of these organizations that are government, semi-government, related to, 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 to the government, uh, support us, recognize us, I feel like it gives me an incentive to do more. Um, it actually every time I attend like every time I attend one of these events it makes me think that I want to become an international uh, you know entrepreneur I want to get to the international market so that I can pass the story of Bahrain I love telling the stories to people that who are not from this part of the world whenever I travel and I'm in exhibitions or I have friends that are across the world business owners and I explain to them what the environment is like the, the kind of support we receive from our families from our friends from society in general honestly it's it's a, again a celebration I feel Bahraini businesswomen were given a further boost today by the signing of a key agreement between the Supreme Council for Women, Tamkeen and Bahrain Development Bank to provide a low-cost financing for entrepreneurial endeavours. More in this report from Danielle Deporto. At the Supreme Council for Women's headquarters today, an agreement was signed between the SEW, Tamkeen, and Bahrain Development Bank, BDB, to provide 37.7 million Bahraini dinars of funding to Bahraini women entrepreneurs over the next five years. Today, the program aims at alleviating and raising women to a new level. And I think this is, this is the finance scheme that we're looking at today, and it's available right now, which I think is not available. It's one of the best around the world, and I'm not exaggerating. Uh, so it is, it is really a, 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 an invitation today to all women in Bahrain that want to start business to go ahead and do that, and we are ready to support them. The low-cost loans will be available to startups and to help grow existing businesses across all industries. The funds have been allocated following consultation with the SEW from BDB, subsidized by Tamkeen. Loans range from 5,000 to 100,000 Bahraini dinars. The scheme is a natural extension to an existing microfinancing program offering loans below 5,000 dinars. This is a good uh, example of the collaboration that takes place between the different entities here in Bahrain in order to enable the uh, women uh, and enable the uh, entrepreneurs in general, particularly the women. Today at the Supreme Council for Women, Bahraini women entrepreneurs have both been honoured for their achievements so far and have had an agreement signed that will support the growth of their businesses for years to come. Reporting for Bahrain Television, I'm Danielle Deporto. 
Israel Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputized Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to open the 12th Middle East Geosciences Conference and Exhibition. That's Geo 2016, which is being held with the participation of 130 international companies from 20 countries. Present were the Minister of Energy, Abdul Hussein Mirza, senior officials and executives of international and regional companies specialising in geological and geophysical sciences. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's care for the conference since its first edition in 1994, which has now turned into a regional platform in the field of geosciences. He conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the participants of the event and wished them success. He said the event sheds light on the developments in the oil and gas sector, adding that it is an opportunity to view new technologies in the field of geology, excavation and exploration. Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa said Bahrain has made large strides in the oil and gas fields, which is one of the economic cornerstones of the economy. He also noted the level of participation and attendance for the international event, which attracts major companies. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the 12th Middle East Geosciences Exhibition was inaugurated today by Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The exhibition is taking place on the sidelines of the Geo Conference 2016, themed Today's Geoscience, Tomorrow's Energy, which commenced yesterday in the Kingdom. More details now in this report from Sarah Al Baraik.
Under the patronage of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the GEO 2016, which is the 12th Middle East Geoscience Conference and Exhibition, opens its door from the 7th of March until the 10th. 2016, with main GCC and Bahraini companies in the spotlight. With the current drop in oil prices, uh, it has become necessary for the oil companies and for the oil and gas sector to uh, make sure they make use of three factors. The first factor is the human element, the capital, the human capital because there is a shortage of skilled people in the oil and gas industry. So we need to attract more young boys and girls to go into the oil industry. Second thing is, is uh, to make use of the new technology. Uh, every day there is a new technology which comes into the market and that makes uh, possible extracting oil from places which was not possible to extract from before. And the third element is the business element, how to deal with the international oil companies and international companies who provide services to the oil and gas sector because they have done lots of research, they have experience in other countries, and we can benefit from that. So if we try to uh, combine these three together and make sure we make best use of all the three elements, then there is possibility of a good success. Exhibited are not only accomplishment of giant companies such as Exxon, Shell, Aramco and Argas, but also their continued research and development, especially at this challenging time in the oil industry. Bobco is the company when it comes to Bahrain, really. And our contribution, in addition being to the major contributor to the national economy, we're also the national contributor, uh, by uh, the major national contributor as well, to whatever is happening in Bahrain on the technical front and in promoting Bahrain as a world class uh, kingdom as such. Uh, in particular, uh, for GEO this year, it's very important, especially in those difficult times. The whole industry, the oil and gas industry, is going through a very difficult time. And Bobco really is, rather than seeing it pessimistically, we're looking at it in an optimistic way and an opportunistic way. We think um, from our own experience and skills and technology that we can provide, that we will be uh, very helpful to the whole industry in the region. Uh, our aim is to be uh, giving solutions to the region not to the world. When it comes to uh, uh, any of the international uh, service companies, uh, they, they do uh, the 80% of the solution to fit all. Uh, we do here the extra 20%, and this 20 is very valuable to, the, our, to our clients. So we're very proud to be here. GU 2016's main focus is going to be on the new IT trends, the new mechanics, as well as the unpredictable market of petroleum. This is Sarah Barek for Bahrain 55. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the wise directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa regarding the development of Bahraini purebred Arabian horses. His Majesty the King affirmed the importance of improving the Arabian horses' breeds according to the regulations of the World Arabian Horse Organization, which regulates the registration of Arabian horses. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed appreciation to His Majesty, affirming that his directives will reflect positively in increasing the local productivity of Arabian horses in order to compete in various competitions. Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the organising committee of the Bahrain Falconry Championship. His Highness conveyed greetings and appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the committee for the success of this traditional event, which is considered part of Bahrain's heritage.
His Highness added that the championship attracted several enthusiasts in Bahrain and from the GCC countries, thanks to the continuous support of His Majesty the King. He expressed appreciation to the committee for the organisation of this event and lauded the role of the media in covering the event. Chairman and members of Bahrain Falconry Championship Committee expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness's continuous support, affirming their keenness to follow his wise directives in order to achieve higher levels in future competitions. The committee then presented His Highness with a commemorative gift on the occasion. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Muller, chaired today the weekly meeting and the council cancelled the decision on stopping rewards and incentives for teachers in some public schools. The council approved a report regarding Bahrain joining the agreement of the establishment of the International Anti-Corruption Academy. The council also approved a draft law regarding public cleanliness, then approved a suggestion regarding allowing patients to continue medical treatment abroad. Minister of Information Affairs Ali al Rumehi took part today in the 24th meeting of Gulf Cooperation Council Information Ministers in Riyadh, which was chaired by Saudi Minister of Culture and Information Dr. Adil al Turafi al Rumehi. Affirmed the importance of supporting joint Gulf action to improve unified media messages of the GCC countries to reinforce Gulf citizenship and member states' achievements and gains in support to move from the phase of Gulf cooperation towards a Gulf union. He expressed pride in taking part in the meeting after taking charge of the media and communication sectors in Bahrain and said he's looking forward to activating Gulf media cooperation for the best interests of the Council's countries and the peoples. The Minister said the Gulf and Arab region is facing many security and economic challenges in addition to the spread of extremism, ideology, violence and terrorism, which requires the necessity to activate the role of Gulf media to contribute to protecting the security and stability of GCC countries. Arumehi invited the audience to attend the opening ceremony of the 14th Gulf Radio and Television Festival, set to be held on the 14th of this month in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which will be attended by icons and personnel of Gulf and Arab media. The world, including the Kingdom of Bahrain, is celebrating International Women's Day today to show respect, appreciation and love towards women for their economic, political and social achievements. More in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain today joins the world in marking the International Women's Day, holding its head up high with unprecedented achievements in areas of political and economic participation, social and cultural engagement, as well as the advancement and empowerment of Bahraini women. The Kingdom has recognized and paid a glowing homage to women as the teacher, doctor, entrepreneur, minister, leader, diplomat, servicewoman, mother and judge, 
each contributing every day to her household, society, and the economy. In Bahrain, women have much to celebrate as they have made qualitative and remarkable achievements and adapted to new realities of modern times, thanks to the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the breakthrough initiatives for advancement, development, and empowerment of women launched by Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Today, Bahraini women are at the forefront of the workforce in both the government sector as well as a growing number in the private sector. The 2016 theme for International Women's Day is Planet 50-50 by 2030, Step It Up for Gender Equality. And in Bahrain, aided by the government's commitment to empower women and provide them with equal opportunities, the status of Bahraini women has flourished in parallel with the country's progress. The International Women's Day is an important occasion to express appreciation and honor the achievements of women on all levels around the world.